just gonna zo- I'm gonna send this to um to to Zoom to YouTube. I've not done that. We'll see if it does that. I'm sometimes just, when I go I don't to have the ability. Yeah, it does say you're live on YouTube. So I mean that's a thing. Okay, well that's something. Um when we are oh yeah. I'm going to go get a lime for my beer because that feels like that should be a thing right now. So I'll be right back. (laughs) Okay, now I hear a reverb. Oh, wait. Oh, there. I muted myself. Okay. Um, So some of the times when we're trying to be technical and do share to Facebook, it does. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. There's Allie. See? We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, there we go. There's that. Okay. We're, we're, I'm present. You're present. You're present. So I have um, uh, a story so about Allie because I'm going to throw her under the bus. Where did you go? Where are you? Can you? See? Okay, there you are. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Well, I keep forgetting that this is like a, a touch screen, and so I keep touching it, and everything goes away. Well, here's the thing. When you go from a touch screen to then no, no touch screen, all of a sudden you're starting to do this and you can't, it'll do nothing. Except get really fingerprinty. So, That's... yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> He's making in. Uh, I put, there's Shannon, see? Awesome. They smell oh, so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> they do smell so good and they match they match the the undrawn the, the crystal so yeah whatever hair. so um one matches your hair yes it does my hair is really pink today i um it is it's so pink i'm loving it <laughs> i shaved my legs and i know <laughs> I have a time frame. You wash the hair, you put the pink in, you wash the body, and then you rinse that stuff out or you turn out like this. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> what? Why are you throwing me under the bus? Oh, oh, I'm going to throw Allie. There's <laughs> Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Um, Hi, Meredith. So we're waiting for Tammy. Tammy will be here eventually. Uh, but wow, why do you so- look so good? And I look like I just like fell off the back of the bus, bumped a couple of times on the road and then you know <laughs> actually i'm a hot mess i am a hot mess i just changed my shirt and threw a scarf on that's just about it you can't see me okay that try to get the pool ready pool party at our house brandy when the when the pool is ready and we're all able to leave the house oh so, i'm in do you have a pool you party pool? Do I have a pool? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Pretty good, man. Yeah. As long as she brings her ukulele, we're golden. Oh, that would be great. She would her, that. her daughter sings. Her name is Savannah. Is it Savannah? Dakota. You're so Dakota. Cool. I know it was some kind of city and or state. <laughs> I mean, I'm Stop. sure her, there's like South <laughs> Dakota City, right? That has to be a thing. <laughs> so, so uh, you guys, uh, she is amazing, amazing. Oh, Your, her you. play is just is so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, oh, there's Tammy. So guys, who we're going to be talking tonight, we, we're awful. still a little, a little early, um, but we're just chatting. You know, this isn't necessarily a readings thing at all. We're anybody that has questions about how we work, we're just chatting is basically uh, what we want to do this evening. There's Jennifer. Um, hi, Jennifer. Hi. So Tammy, Tammy Manzo, raise a hand, Tammy. Hello. That's Tammy Manzo. She is our amazing, amazing ascended master healer, astrologer. I mean, she is just amazing. And then we have Allie over here. This is like the Hollywood squares. Um, (laughs) Allie, she's our animal communicator and healer, intuitive. And then we have Brandy, who is, Brandy, you, you're psychic medium, do all sorts of stuff. I, I mean, I talk to dead people mainly <laughs> is the thing that I do, but I do <laughs> intuitive stuff too. <laughs> I miss class. I miss class. I'm having a, 
I'm having oh. moments where I'm just having to step back because I'm just going, yeah, I, you know, yeah. Nerves, it nerves, it nerves. I shut down for like a whole two weeks, I think, right? It's like, nobody messaged me. I like freaked out. I took <laughs> off next week. Yeah, I took off next week because I, I, I was feeling the crush. I was feeling yeah. the crush. So, and then. Ask Sam where he's going. Oh, where are you going, Sam? I'm not talking to you. What? I can't hear you. You're speaking At all? some foreign language. Oh. <laughs> She's ignoring you. It's that button. It's that button right there. <laughs> and that's Meredith. Meredith. She's primed and ready with her wine glass. Uh, <laughs> Meredith is our Oracle intuitive. She does, and kind of like, I guess we'd call it hoodoo. Um, she's, she does all these really incredible little rituals that when it's a holiday, I'm like, okay, what do you do for this? Like as an example, <laughs> Meredith, what are you doing for Easter? Oh, well, we made cookies today and we're going to What's up, Callan? What? I scratch myself with ink. Say hi to everybody. I'm in my meeting. Hello. Hi, Callan. What's up, buddy? Mom, what are you doing? I didn't scratch yourself with ink. So wash your hands. Okay. And we're going to drink on Easter. This is actually water. What? No, it really is. It really oh. is because I'm not that much fun. It really is water. What I have to do is go get a bottle. Get some underwear on. Please. There's a Riesling story. It's funny. Like, <laughs> well, are you drinking it. Stella Artois? I mean, it's in a Stella glass, but it's really so that counts. There's <laughs> <laughs> some orange juice in it because I'm class. <laughs> I wanted to, uh, mine's blue. It's um, blue flavored water, Mio water. Okay. Trying to say. What kind, of, what kind of beer are you drinking, Brandy Pacifico? But yes, tell Sam, I also have a shot of whiskey. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to wine and shine, we should do it right. That's so right. there's that. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what did he say? He's not a whiskey drinker so much, but he does like tequila. Um, when we were in Hawaii, I really like that. <laughs> there is um, there's a restaurant there at the at the resort called Just Tacos, and we were sitting there, and they were we didn't know we didn't know we were sitting with the owner of the of the restaurant, and they kept bringing out all this expensive like hundred dollar shots of tequila, and we're tequila. sitting there, oh, wow. sipping tequila. Sipping tequila. I'd never know. I never knew there was a thing. Like so this. Hey. hey. Oh, what do you have? If I ever get out of quarantine, I will share. <laughs> what is it? Antonio and I don't know. I can't say. Tequila. Well, yeah. I was telling Brandy after quarantine, <laughs> like party at Lisa's house in the pool, man. Yeah. Except the, the pool is going to be the only thing done. That's like right. the house is drywall okay. for now. <laughs> That's fine. So I like to pee outside anyway. So fine. Okay. <laughs> so really, you guys, this is just for fun. We're just, if you guys have questions about how we work, that's, uh, since we are drinking, that is our disclaimer that, you know, we're not as sharp when we're drinking. So best to not, you know, do readings. But um, if you guys have questions about what we do, how we work, or just general chit chat about your journey. I think that's, I think that would be more fun than hearing us talk is sharing your guys' journey and what you guys do because we all are an intuitive in one way or another. And I think it would be interesting to hear what you guys, how you guys feel like everybody on here feels like they started and we can go from there. Hi, Emery. Hi. Mm -hmm. In and gone, in and gone. What are you doing? I know. So, is every how's everybody? Let's start with how is everybody faring in quarantine? And here's how we have to do this because if we all talk at one time, um, we are going to sound all jumbled. So just throw your hand up if you want to. If you're like, and you want to start the conversation, just be vocal. I cut his hair. 
Yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Sam. Pam. What? Where? Pam. Who's Pam? Pam. So, I want to comment. Um, Brandy, <laughs> I, I saw your photo oh, of no. you not, of, of you yes, passing off, right there. Of, what was it, MacBooks or something off to your, off to your kids. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that you didn't have your kids with you right now. I don't have my two yep. older kiddos uh, with me. They're with their biological dad. Um, and I have cousins normally, but my other half, my partner of you know nearly six years, we have a little one together, but Andre works at uh, a medical facility. And right now it's pretty, you know, it's getting hairy. And right. stuff. so um, to keep them safe, we... Um, have been apart now for three weeks and that has been super, super hard. So I got to see them Tuesday from a distance because uh, they needed their MacBooks so they could do online school. And uh, I've never been in the position where I can't hug my own children and like just hold them and tell them that it's gonna be okay. So it was definitely one of the most emotional moments I've ever had with them, so. Well, and I know, um before everybody, I know there's a lot of people on right now. And before before the, a lot of people got on, you said you were taking a couple of weeks off. Look at her yeah, beer. That's, that, that's a big glass. Um, <laughs> so can you tell a little bit about how this affects your connection? Because I think we're all having the same problem. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where I've been super stressed out and uh, super anxiety ridden. Um, every time Andre goes to work, it's an automatic anxiety attack. It just is. And what that does is it has pulled me away from being able to find that foundation of calm that you need to really extend out to the spirit world and, and kind of do it justice. So I've been sitting with the spirit world, but I've definitely been doing it uh, therapeutically rather than for work. You know what I mean? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, just try to keep yourself balanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now, is your is your page on um, Facebook? Is it just Brandy Christman, or is it? Yeah, it's at, it's at Brandy Christman. Okay. Yeah. So I, I really, I think I just want to <laughs> go around and I want to ask each one of the intuitives that we have on our panel how they're doing. So let's let's move over to um, Allie. And how are you finding your connection, Allie? I, are you are you feeling that it's harder? Or are you feeling more static? Um, no. Well, Emory. it's extremely hard. <laughs> yeah, it's extremely hard when I have just me, myself, and myself. And yeah. so it is. It is harder to concentrate. Um, and I, I would love to say that it is easy right now. I, I would love to say that I have all the time in the world to just sit here and communicate, but every time I open up my energy, it's just anxiety. And uh, it's, Murphy, I don't come. know, it's a, it's a little overwhelming. Come. It's um, because it, it's not just people, it's the animals too. So there's literally nowhere that I can walk and just sit underneath a tree and just meditate. <laughs> because right. I work, I mean, there, it's just everywhere. It, it is. I get it. I, I, get it. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is. It, the it, other day, is I, I find it to be. Some days are worse than others. I. Mean, I, I the healing has has been a little bit easier, but the communication is very staticky. Okay, everybody, everybody put your, your speaker on mute. Has some audio? Whatever. What is that noise? <laughs> it sounded like somebody was playing the um a uh, uh, percussion instrument with the like the sort of thing. So sorry, I thought it was on mute. It cracked me up. Like, is that what it is? What you, I want to know. Could what? be my child running upstairs. No, I, I, I don't hear him anymore. 
<laughs> I was spraying my seedlings. I'm sorry if I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. We're here to we're here to laugh, you guys. We really are here to laugh. That is really, you know. I thought it was on mute. Be fun. It's okay. Now we. I hope your seedlings grow well. Blessings oh. upon your seedlings. <laughs> I hope these. Are, this is the second batch. I accidentally lysoled the first batch last week. You lysoled them. Well, at least they're clean. And don't waste lysol. I had lysol in the water bottle on the same table oh, and I just said oh no they need some water and I started watering them but it was like oh my gosh it's not funny but it's funny <laughs> no it is funny it really is funny <laughs> <laughs> all right Meredith Tyler I'm trying to unmute you yes. there you go what what are you are you running into oh, is that the dog Curtis just let the dogs in <laughs> <laughs> she has a menagerie of dogs you guys no, it's fine. What you just saw was the Great Dane, right? No, that was the no, that poodle. Was Penelope. Oh. Yes. <laughs> she needs wine. There's a reason. <laughs> she... Here she is. She's going to say hi now. Say hi. And then we're done. Okay, we're done. She is this big, beautiful standard poodle. She's gorgeous. That, there he is. Oh, no, that's <laughs> the poodle. The other one is a uh, something. Aussie doodle. Something. <laughs> There he is. So how are you finding your connection? I mean, are you, cause I know you do lots of little things around the house. I, if you walk into her home, she has, um, it, you can't even call it an altar because like there's all sorts of her kids stuff on there, artwork from her kids uh, and crystals and incense and then more kids stuff. And, you know, so she has this sprinkled throughout her house. So this is part of her life. And I just think it's really cool that I know that if something's going on like a holiday or a full moon or something like that, I can go, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you want to go in the group? <laughs> what you're doing? So, but what kind of connection are you finding? So if I get up before everybody and I can meditate, then I'm okay. But if I'm up after anybody, then my day's shot. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You no. know, it, 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 it is. Fun. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I'm going to mute that one. <laughs> Only because I talk to her like this often and I know just how loud it can get. <laughs> okay. Uh, so meditating before, that's awesome. But yeah, I understand the static when everybody gets up. Yeah. And the wonderful, incredible Tammy Manzo. Well, like um, Meredith, I've got crystals throughout my house everywhere. I've got statues. I mean, I've got like altars. I've got like three altars in my healing room where I am now. There's altars all through the house. Um, yeah, um, drinking a lot of water. I'm wearing crystals. You know, I've got some of Brad's pieces. <laughs> Arcanite. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, we should have had Brad on. He would have enjoyed this. Elves. Yeah, I mean, and, and tools. And let me tell you guys, rescue remedy oh my god if you guys have never heard of rescue remedy before it's a flower essence uh -huh. i just ordered in another bottle i got one for my husband i got one for me it drops in the water all day long and you just sip and that helps take you out of the you know what i mean the panic the anxiety the oh my god the shock of you know stuff so that really does help and it keeps you aware it, it doesn't like drug you up you know right right so that helps well that's cool i i'm 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 between up and down. Um, with his job, he got laid off. They gave him two weeks pay. And then they, at the end of that, they said three weeks pay. And at the end of that, they said, okay, guess what? No more job. And which really sucks because we have the house here in Oklahoma and we, you know, we like it here. We still have the house here. And so I've been up and down, up and down and crying and whining and it's my turn to have a meltdown. So I found it kind of difficult. But um, I've I've taken a couple, I've take, taken next week off just because I, I need it. I, I can't. I, I need to have better connection. If I'm not if I don't have good connection, just like everybody else, you don't have good connection. You don't feel like you want to actually get out there and work because you're you're not giving full. So that's not fair. Yeah, with him leaving next week, I'm going to be online a lot. <laughs> It'll be a lot. People will be like, Jesus, 
doesn't she have anything else to do? No, no, she doesn't. So anyhow, so how is everybody else doing? You know, uh, you know, as you, what are you doing with your energy? Are you staying even keel? Are you a central worker? What, what's going on with everybody on here? Don't be shy. There's a fly. I'm gonna throw somebody under the bus. I'm gonna call a name like a teacher. <laughs> no, nobody. Wow. Nobody's quiet. Quiet. What are you asking? <laughs> no, I want to know how. how, how you listen? Right. I want to know what everybody's doing. Like, what is everybody else doing to keep their energy even keel? I mean, I, I. This is like everybody. I'm addressing everybody. Hi, Meredith. Hi. <laughs> So we've been working outside right. and we, when I feel like the house is there, we bake stuff and I just got a new batch of incense for my incense people. And we were burning that today. And what else do we do? Oh, we listen to music. Music's a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been working. We uh... <laughs> I I have a thing about work like working out every day. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily now. It's not necessarily like for a goal purpose, but just to stay sane. It's you know for me it's treatment for anxiety. But um, as Lisa, as you know, we're musicians. Our whole family plays, and so uh, we've been playing music and lots of journaling and just allowing ourselves, you know, to be where we're at um and and honor that aspect has been huge I think that's been the biggest lesson for me because I want to be out of it as quick as possible I'm like what can I do to not feel this right now right and, uh, so for me it's been you know a lot of honoring the fact that it's teaching me something right now so well, I think we are all um learning a lot and you know I think we're going to have a new normal after this we're not going to go back to the way things were before I don't know how we're going to shift with this, but it's going to, we're definitely going to, we're learning as we go. And it's just, I hope that, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed seeing the pictures of specifically Los Angeles for some reason. I'm <laughs> loving seeing that things are re, re, refreshing and it's beautiful. The air is gorgeous and it would hate, I would hate for everything to go back directly to the way we had been living and pollution and <clears throat> unfortunately it's significant to have. Yeah, and get those cars out there again and mm -hmm. it's gonna be a thing. It is amazing to see pictures from all over the world of how blue the sky was. Mm-hmm. And there's just so many stories out of all this. I mean yeah we're all trapped in our house but we're we're in our own zoos and they're out there looking at us now. And I've seen those memes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Did we lose Shannon? Yeah, she left. She didn't want to be called on. <laughs> so I'm out of here. <laughs> so, um, who? Uh, hi, Tammy. Hey. Um, who else on here? works professionally out intuitively anybody i was that a hand did i see a hand cynthia. did cynthia raise her hand yeah wait say the question again lisa <laughs> she's like wait before you put me under the bus i need to know do you do you do readings and work professionally i am just starting okay um so this is a good perspective for just starting and get your feet wet anyways how are you handling that energy and how how is it affecting you starting out doing readings uh well i still have my my day job <laughs> so i am only only doing what i can when i can so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but because that is um very it's very hectic right now for work um, with this the COVID stuff going on. So um, I'm just doing what I can when I can. I'm not trying to like grow anything at this minute. Right, right, gotcha. 
It, it is a difficult, here's the problem. It's a difficult time to do it because energies are so, okay. So um, hectic and very, mm, but at this moment, people need comfort and healing more than any other time. You know what? I'm going to stop talking. You guys start talking. I'm filling time. <laughs> do you guys have questions? Not necessarily reading questions, but questions. Anna, go ahead. Hold on. I can't hear you. Can't hear you. She might be muted. No, she's not muted. Um, no, she's not muted. Not according to the thingy. They are not, I, I muted and unmuted her. Maybe you turn your volume up. Mm -mm. No, still can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Idea what you just said. I was just like, going, okay, I'm psychic, but I'm not that good, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't read lips. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we doing finger puppets because I didn't know we needed that skill this evening. I don't have it. <laughs> No, it's fine. You want, you know what? Maybe if you back out and come back in, it might pop on. That does happen. <laughs> Anybody else have a question while she figures that out? You guys are so quiet. Nobody Brandy, can I get one of those beers? That's my question. <laughs> or can, can you drink an extra one for me? I can, I can drink an extra one for everyone <laughs> okay and I, can you drink a shot of whiskey for me too i, I can we're we're in, we're in a prohibition I, state over here apparently oh no <laughs> what is that because i don't want to go there alcohol we, we have none we're we're alcoholists over here where in at my house, house. <laughs> oh it's your house <laughs> i'm yeah. thinking publicly you see my, my look i'm like <laughs> Just at my house. Oh, Just at your house. Give us her your address and we'll drop some alcohol off. But damn, Brandy's <laughs> making that Brandy's making that beer look like I'm like, oh I mean it's delicious. Every <laughs> sip she takes is like oh. you know, people are dropping off toilet paper care packages on people's front porches and <laughs> Heather's gonna get a beer package. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm ready, willing, and able to take a beer package. Oh man, you know, <laughs> uh, when this is over, there's there really needs to be like a party. There really I does agree. need to be a party. And I agree. It, it, it's I don't mind being a homebody. Who else is a homebody? I'm a homebody. Oh, sometimes. I, I am. Yeah. I, I, I and this is horrible. I don't like people all that much. I. <laughs> A lot of people, and I didn't real. no, that's not fair. I didn't realize why I couldn't stand being out in public until I started doing this. And once I started doing this, I kind of went, oh, well, that's why. It's because energies were just too much for me. Like, I can't have the radio on and have a conversation going because it's too much stimulation. So when I started doing this, I went, oh, my goodness. It's not that I'm just mean. It's just it's too much. To Lisa, do. you could have fooled me though on that because you can get interrupted by your dogs or Sam and you're just like rocking and moving right along. <laughs> no, really it's, um, I do, I can't take a whole lot. Like my, my radio in my car, never on. I would not know what to do with the radio in my car actually, uh, unless I'm turning on an audio book, which I will listen when I'm traveling long distance. But I can't listen to the radio and drive. It's like, you know, rubbing your head and patting your stomach and trying, that's not possible. That's not possible. <laughs> so I go ahead. I want to see everybody try. No, <laughs> because I'm taking a screenshot. <laughs> but so here's, here's what I did learn though. 
I started taking these really incredible mediumship classes here in Tulsa because Tulsa is um, fabulous. You guys could take a metaphysical class almost every day of the week in Tulsa. It's amazing. By the way, the teacher is Brandy Christman. And <laughs> so uh, I was learning so much in these classes and stretching boundaries for myself, which is, you know, we all should try to do that. And um, I meditate to drumming and that's pretty much the only music I listen to. And then Brandy started playing all this really great music to meditate to. And it was amazing. I love the meditation she does um, with the different types of music and the closing of the energy and stuff. You need a show? So tell everybody who, you, who your favorite meditation people are, because I know you have some favorites that you like to play when you're meditating, Brandy. Oh, gosh. Uh, let me look at my phone, Lisa. Um, there's one one lady that I have used for years um, and she's a teacher at uh, AFC, which is the Arthur Finley College and she like no longer produces her stuff anymore so I switched over to uh, the Stargazer's Journey which is a really good like spacey uh, well, I'm talking about I'm talking about your really cool instrumental singy guys that's two names oh that i i don't meditate to them i might do other things to them but i do not meditate to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's penny and spare <laughs> okay <laughs> does any has anybody else heard of penny and sparrow i'd never heard of them but that doesn't ladies mean. there's a like listen i will post a link somewhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, yeah because it really is this really soulful, beautiful music. And sometimes you close, you close out the, the, the meditations to it, the, the, the class. Out the classes, it. Yeah. And it's just so peaceful, so it peaceful. Is. And I found that that was something I could take, you know, I could handle it. And I, I was just, there's a huge hornet in here, a huge hornet. <laughs> um, it was just music that I, I could handle when What's it comes to meditating. And I thought that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. Somebody just said, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was Did me. I say that? Oh, no, I lost my thingamajigger. I can't find any. Oh, there everybody is. What did you say? Stargaze or something? Uh, Stargazer's journey is what I actually meditate to and then we usually close class with like a Penny and Sparrow song okay. or a Vance voice. Band okay. Song. Yeah. Anna, can we hear you now? No. Still cannot hear you. Okay, so at the bottom, there's a little chat button if you want to type out. Uh, you can't hear it. Ricky can't hear what Sam is saying. It's because he's not here right now. <laughs> he, had, he had to take the little one out. <laughs> with the dog the basset hound promptly uh, well not promptly um as soon as quarantine started you know we all went to lockdown he bulged a di disc in his back and we had to take him in for back surgery because oh my gosh like that. oh yeah so um he's been he's hand walked here hand walked there it's ridiculous but we love him so <laughs> here he is so he's out taking care of the dog um, so I do, I do want to ask Tammy, Tammy, do you, do we have, and I know that we, I said, we're not like doing readings and this doesn't need to be reading. Do we have any like hiccup energies coming up that is going to bring anybody up some upswing or. Ooh. Well, um, you know, we just had some energy come down on Wednesday and I think you guys might've tapped into, to it because, um, I don't know exactly what it is. This is Ascension times. And the, the higher vibration energy is just coming down. It's part of God's plan, the universe's plan, Earth's plan. And Wednesday morning when I got up and I opened the blind in my healing room, I could feel the energy coming in from outside. So I knew it wasn't anything I was tapping into. It was coming from outside. So I went outside and boy, when I went out there, I mean, I was like, it was like being plugged in. <laughs> it's just like vibrating everywhere. And what it was causing in my body was anxiety symptoms like my heart started racing and uh -huh. your mind starts going and i'm like oh what is this and it's something on the planet it, it didn't feel bad but it's high vibration 
man. So there are downloads really? coming all the time. And I don't know if this one, if there was a timing for this one, but there are timings, like there's portals and things coming down. So we just had that 444 uh, and that was a lot of energy coming down and there's going to be another 444. It'll be April 22nd because the 22nd okay. will actually become a four. So it'll be 444 again. That's going to be a new moon. Oh, and it's okay. going to be a lot of energy and Uranus is right there, right next to it, which brings unexpected and Uranus is electrical energy as well. So um, everybody energy sensitive. There's just going to be a lot of energy. It's just a lot of energy. Just use your tools. You know, use yeah. tool, every tool you and got. I know, and I know you've been work, you've been tossing around the idea of doing like energetic updates for people, you know, as a service kind of thing, not the whole, maybe the full, I think this is something we talked about, right? Like, not like the full blown class, reading, but yeah, like, watch out for these dates kind of thing. Um, boy, that'd be so helpful. That'd yeah. Be so helpful. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. And the thing is I'm trying mm -hmm. to get it out there without causing it for people. Cause I, I want to give it as a reflection okay. if you're already mm -hmm. feeling it, but sometimes people, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to cause anything like, Oh, okay, here's this right. thing coming out and everybody's going to yeah. go. ah. <laughs> so um, yeah, right. I just got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, and I, I, I had somebody I was talking to the other day that um, they, they asked me, um, I told them I don't prophesize <laughs> because they were asking me to give like long-term kind of psychic information. And if anybody watches me read, you'll notice I don't do that. I don't. I'm going to tell you what you are working with right now that's going to help you move forward. And a lot of people are wanting to know exactly what's going to happen. Well, I'm, if I tell you that, then you're going to model what you have going on in life according to that. I mean, who else does right. that? I mean, who else? I mean, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Did I make it mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, you'll know. be creating it for them. Right. And if you tell them what you see coming, then they're going to buy into it. But there's a hundred different realities that they could buy into at any given time. hundred different it. timelines that they could choose from. They would yep. choose yours <clears throat> because it's, because they know it because they know it so anna can we hear you i don't know can you yay, yay. <laughs> i just found out i have four microphones really? i had no idea over so achiever i had to switch i know damn it so i had to switch over to another microphone i had no idea but anyway um <laughs> I feel really weird because I'm like new to this whole group and new to all of you, but um, I feel comfortable. No, I, I feel really good. I mean, uh, you know, I can be a fool in front of anybody, really. Um, I am currently using um, a lot of energy. I'm, I'm a psychotherapist and I'm also a board certified music therapist. Cool. So I've been doing that. Brandy should get along. I know, definitely. I do drumming. I, you know, I do the whole thing. So, um, I've been incorporating, um, energy work into my sessions with my clients for years. And it's funny because the people that come to me and stay with me long-term are the people that are empaths that are, that are you know, like highly energetic that are metaphysical, you know, and that, that get this. So I don't right. really, it's not like I interview people to find out, like, I'm only going to take these clients, but they seem to be drawn to me. Right. And um, so I've been doing it online now and not in person. So I found ways, except for tonight, it's worked beautifully, but I use a different platform. I don't use, I don't use Zoom. I use something else, but um you know, I'm finding that I can deliver energy and all kinds of things right through the screen. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm feeling comfortable with that now. That's so awesome. There's, there's lots we can do. That, absolutely. So I, have, I have been um, counseling a lot of people on their anxiety, um, ways of getting through. Mm -hmm. um, actually, with all the music that's coming out, like when it started in Italy, and people started singing from their balconies. And then um, people started doing stuff on Zoom in the United States and all the orchestras and everything. I just became exhilarated by 
all of this emotion and heightened vibrational stuff coming mm -hmm. out of everyone. It, it like, I felt like it, it was a change. It was like a renaissance for everyone to have a new beginning and to start being more in harmony with each other. So I do a lot of positivity work. Um, I was also trained by Brene Brown in the daring way. So I'm a facilitator for her work as well. <sighs> so, you know, I'm just like, you know, all into what you guys are saying. Um, Lisa, I just started following you. Um, I saw you on um, one of the YouTube things with Emma. Oh yeah. And I was like, Emma. I'm like, cause I talked to Emma a couple of, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, uh, because she was interested in the music therapy and how I use vibrations and tones to elevate people. Right. So, um, but we were just talking in messenger, you know, like, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. So I don't know her well, but that's how I saw you. So, oh, well, great, great. So She's I'm like excited to um, follow what you all have to say. And I'm a late bloomer as far as getting my, um, you know, like I, I, I can see people, I can hear people, I can, you know, do all that stuff. I just can't always do it on a command. Right. Like I would like to. Um, I've lost a lot of loved ones in the past five years. So my mother, my father, and my husband. And so, so and they're, they're all there. They're all talking to me and I'm seeing them visually. Right. So, oh, that's cool. um, so I'm, I'm on this journey and I've always knew I've been an empathic, but I didn't really know how much, um, how much energetically I could really bring to the table till the last couple of years. That's really cool. That's so really cool. I'm gra glad to be here. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're here too. Cause, and I think you and Brandy, I mean, like probably get along really well. Her daughter's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. I can't say enough wonderful things. Bye, me. Bye, man. <laughs> yeah, I you will. know, um, I will. she has a, she has a Facebook page and she has this beautiful little voice that it just hits these pitches. That oh, is amazing. Oh. And she plays the ukulele when she's singing and it's just, Oh, that's really the cool. coolest thing. The coolest thing. Thank um, you for awesome. saying that. That's so sweet. She's an, I think she's amazing, but I, you know, I help oh, yeah. make. <laughs> she is amazing. Brandy, she, what's your page again? It's just Brandy Chrisman. I'm just hanging out under my own name. <laughs> my own okay. board. No alias for you. Okay, good. I like that. <laughs> so I have to ask, Heather, you have the little blue hand up. Yeah, I had a question. Um, the 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 one that that are doing all these things that are, you know, out out there. Are you all able to um, feel, perceive things that are coming in the future, whether they are good or bad? And if you are feeling things that are coming up that are bad, how do you deal with those things? How are you able to uh, push those things away or um, keep from allowing those things to really fuck with your, I mean, really um, mess with your whole uh, vibe, you know, with, without bringing you, uh, how do you, uh, I'm sorry, how do you keep them from, you know, bringing down the whole, bringing I'm you down, sorry. like taking you out. Right. I'm gonna let you guys take this. I'm gonna sit here. I think that there has to be an aspect of you that honors the fact that that's happening. Um, you know, we talked about, I have already said this, but I'll just say it again, like honoring. I think it's so much right now about being in the present. And that's hard when you're empathic, and you're intuitive, and all of these things are coming at you. And um, I talked in circle, Lisa, on Tuesday about how like I've been having really profound visions even when I'm just trying to sit with spirit. Mm -hmm. And some of that, I don't think we will know if it's like precognitive until we live into this a little bit more. And we're such in a place in our society of knowing and planning what's coming next, that it's one of those things where we have to live into this a little bit. And we have to see, are those dreams that we're having? Are those visions that we're having, are they fear-based? Are they anxiety based or are they real? And the truth is, is that right now, if you're someone who is living 
uh, and coping with anxiety, we will not know until we have lived through this. And so my biggest thing has been kind of like honoring the fact that I'm having that experience, journaling it out, and then putting it away, finding something else to do. Uh, so earthing is a big thing, putting your feet in the earth, your hands in the earth, that sort of thing really helps me. But that's just, that's just me right now. Okay. Okay. But, I mean, I think that's pretty much, I mean, that's really the only thing we can do right now. Um, you can either uh, sit there and stew in it, or you can learn from it and, and write it down and Is let it, it go. Scary? scary for any of you what aspect of it is scary what yeah I guess um, what what you're seeing if you're seeing anything that's um troubling or bad or any of that is it does it scare um does it does it yeah is it scary yeah <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I still have to pick my feet up quick after when I get in bed. I mean, come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just curious. I mean, those no. are things that I'm just real curious about if, you know, being able to see those things, if those things are scary or like Brandy said, you know, we, with it being anxiety based, not knowing whether it is an anxiety thing or if it is really something that you're seeing the other, the, you know, you other ones, I wonder if it, if, if you feel the same way as Brandy or if you have another way of looking at it and I, I would be interested to know. Sometimes it's not your fear to fear. Okay. You know, sometimes you, you have to just, okay, this is the message and then let it go. Um, I mean, if you hold on to it, then you kind of manifest it into, into maybe more than it should be. Okay. I mean, it's just a message. It's not something for you to make into a bigger, I mean, you okay. can, you can change, you can, you can, you can positively change things. Um, right. So when we do get visions or we do get things, we have to remember that we're energy workers, mm -hmm. you know, we can change this. Mm -hmm. um, so it, and, and I'm, I'm coming from, from very, like, I have horrible anxiety right now right. and, um, that's not normal for me. And so I really, I really, I, I told Lisa today, I said, when I check on myself, this isn't mine. And so I just get rid of it. Okay. But it's, it's a constant, it's a constant shed for me. It's, you know, I, I sit with my sage and I, I, I ground and I get rid of it. It, I, okay. it's not something I want to manifest to myself. Okay. But let's talk about why, helps, but let's talk really quickly about why Allie has stress. Um, first of all, thank you very much. First of all, Allie's waiting for a mare to drop a baby and that's stressful. Really guys, if you've never waited for a mare to drop a baby, it's like a month of nothing but anxiety. And then, um, she bought a house with her, her, her other side, you know, her significant other, and they didn't change the locks and they've had a hobo living in their home in the middle of the night. So what do you do? <laughs> There's more to the story, but we're not going to go into the more to the story, but I mean, she's got, she has anxiety. <laughs> Jennifer, I saw you raise your hand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh, there we go. Mute there we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I don't get any premonitions about anything, but I think for me, I just refuse to not so much buy into any of this because it's very real. It's happening and there's nothing we can do to stop it. But mm -hmm. I always choose to look towards the positive and know that no matter what we as humans are going to get through this and there will be a brighter day and um things will get better it's just hanging on until we get there and um i don't i just choose to always yeah. look and think positive i just don't l allow myself to go there yeah. Gen can't. jennifer do you normally have anxiety about things or are you pretty um, much I have happy? anxiety about um, things that I can control. Like right okay. now, I'm 
I've been remodeling my house by myself, trying to get it ready to put on the market. And that has had me in a tizzy. Okay. Things that I can't control, I just let it go because there's nothing okay. to do about it. Okay. So. Well, thank you guys very much. Yeah. Questions? Any other questions? Yes. Rick, Rick, Rika. Is it Rika? Wait, my full yeah, name wait. is. Uh, I'm you screwing up. Rika. Oh, okay. just leave me it. on you, you, on you, you, on you. Okay, go ahead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm kind of just I'm at the baby stage with all of this. So um, my question is, um, when you when you hear things, or sometimes I hear things in my head. Like I'm starting to kind of acknowledge um, what I'm hearing, but I'm trying to figure out like how do you differentiate between knowing that it's intuition and knowing and thinking that it's your own thoughts. Anybody want to answer that? Anybody? Crickets. I can answer. Crickets. Okay. <laughs> Um, I just don't want to talk all the time. I feel I, like I'm monopolizing. Yeah. Oh, who else talked? Because they can take the wheel. You can just take the wheel. Who else? Okay. Can, can I hear the question again? <laughs> she wants to know, because uh, her microphone's breaking up a touch. She wants to know how oh, do you right. differentiate be between self-talk and intuition? Correct? Oh, I got this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> I got this one. Um, you don't. No, I'm kidding. You do. But um, if it's coming like this, if it's flowing to you, then it's not you. Um, because I know this because I did not want to believe that animals were talking to me. Um, I did not want to believe that I could hear things. I did not want to believe that I could see things. And there were many, 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 many phone calls to Lisa Fry that said, oh my God, I think this just happened. And she said to me, yeah, and? <laughs> being a drama queen. <laughs> like, no, I'm that kind of this teacher. Is not, this doesn't, that, 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 that's real? And she would say, yes, that's real. You have to trust that. And that is why I have a name that I work under because I didn't trust it. So if things are flowing to you and you can have a conversation with that and something answers you, that's not you. <laughs> that's not you. That is, that is a message for you. Um, now, if you can, you know, make things up like, okay, I'm going to, when I get out of bed today, I'm going to sweep my floors, then I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this. And then a little birdie says, you forgot to do this. That's probably you just going back through your list. But if these are messages that you weren't asking for, then they may be, you know, your intuition. It, it's something that you need to pay attention to. I don't know if that made any sense, but it did to me. I like the pronouns. I like the pronouns. I think that's a big one. For me when, when I learned that I went oh, oh yes. my gosh so when you're talking to yourself which a lot of intuitives I think we talk to ourselves um we deprogram ourselves or no maybe we're programmed from a young age to think we're talking to ourselves um and I and I, I we're talking right over Brandy and I'm so sorry um but pronouns when you're when mute you're talking it. we need to unmute her yeah she muted herself she did it voluntarily oh, okay. Okay, um, so if you're talking to yourself, you're not gonna call yourself you and we, okay? You're gonna always say first person, you know, me, I, okay? If you're, if you're saying you need to do this and the other side goes, well, I wanna do it this way and something else says, hey, well, I want you to do it this other way. Um, that, that right there is something else discussing, having a discussion with you, definitely. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. And the other thing is, is a, it's a trust fall. It is a trust yeah. fall. Right. That you have to trust that you're getting information. And the more you do that, the more information you get. Ask for validation. When you get information, you're like, I don't know if that's me or not. You know, show me 
dime, show me feathers, show me Marilyn Monroe, show me whatever you want to see and ask them to bring you validation. Okay. Okay, right, cool. I have something to say. Oh, hi, Christy. Yes. Hello. Um, I recently watched Lisa's uh, live feed on pendulums. If you're starting out, I would start using pendulums, especially if you're left brain, because I am, and you get instant validation. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I definitely started using pendulum a lot more. And so, so just um, start yeah, asking a lot of questions. That I had were um, my pendulum actually, because I know what what, what yes means and no for my pendulum. But one day it was doing the exact opposite. And that was like the day of the whole Jupiter um, oh. thing. <laughs> I, I, that was, it just threw my whole pendulum out of loop. <laughs> Look at Brandy. What? what? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'm like dying mm -hmm. over here. Okay. Um, also, when it's your intuition, much like when it's, spirit it usually doesn't have a lot to do with the thought process that you're carrying at the time it usually comes in uh, uh kind of left field ish and it's something that um you're gonna hear it in your own voice you're gonna hear it in your own inner dialogue but it's going to be distinguished completely different than the to-do list that you have that ali kind of talked about um so it's one of those things that uh is it, it is kind of like a left field thing. There's an energy that comes with it to you. Mm -hmm. And um, I have to be quite honest, and this won't, this won't be a popular opinion, right? But I'm gonna say it anyways. I'm not super excited about pendulums because our auric field can affect that pendulum's outcome. And it's not something that I was ever taught, but I, I think it's something that we have to be aware that when we go to consult the pendulum, we have to be in a place of observation and not will. Right. You can do, you pendulum to turn. Find that, do you sage your pendulum? Like, do you, I, I know this is a little bit off topic, but do you, because because we we have an answer that we want internally sometimes and so that's what our pendulum tells us but is there is there a ritual that you do with your pendulum before you use it to ensure that you're getting the answer that you need are you asking me or yeah okay i actually don't i don't use one um and i don't have cards for myself either for that reason right. and uh i think colette Baron Reed kind of like talks about the gremlin that can hijack your your readings. Yeah. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> um, and so I I literally will go to I'll pay for a reading before I will try to read myself, which sounds right. fun. Like I'll follow my intuition and I'll I'll get mm -hmm. guidance. But if it's something big in my life, I will I will divvy it yeah, up get an objective view <laughs> debbie what are you drinking what, what what are you drinking debbie hey debbie <laughs> <laughs> no but Sorry. i think that that's um i think that that's very valid i don't i don't think i've i in years i've not pulled a card for myself so much i just don't you know and i think that a lot of readers would prefer to pay somebody else to do yeah. a reading but then again, a lot of readers are very selective about who they will have touch their energy as well, because this yeah. is just a general, you know, think about this, you guys, this is your energetic field. This is personal. Okay. Think of how many people are out there just going through all of these free readers that are out there and I'm one of them. So I'm, and here's me throwing myself under the bus. I'll do it all day long. You have to be careful about who you're just throwing that out to. Hey, read me, read me, read me. And then all of a sudden you have all these different miscellaneous people in your energies, you know? So be careful what you do. Make sure you find somebody very trusted. Don't just go Very different views of what that path could look like for you. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I would get a reading from Brandy. Absolutely. Because I, I trust Brandy. Really she's got this cute little fluffy energy. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> see, you see it right there. It's just kind of like pop. <laughs> now she's paid. I'm trying to be tough. Leave me alone, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs>
So Lisa, you know. yeah, um, I do. I do use the pendulum, and I always set it out full moon. Uh, I have two that I use both for different things, um, and, and I also rinse them frequently mm -hmm. um, because I feel like they get gunked up just like anything else. Sure. Uh, and then the other thing is, I always ask before I start: Are we communicating? And to see what, what's going on. And then do you know the answer to the question I'm getting ready to ask? And I'm telling you, mine is so accurate. It's crazy and always has been. Yeah. So. Um, you have, and just like Brandy said, when you're, you have, if you, as long as you're doing it from a place of disconnect and being right. an observer, rather, you have to know that if you go in with preconceived notions, it's just, it's just going to give you what you want. Right. You know? But so, yeah, I, have, I have really good accuracy with mine. That's good. So, yeah. I use it for mares. <laughs> Me too. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Me I use too. it for mares. Are we having a cult or a filly? Yeah. <laughs> what day are we doing this? Lisa would like some sleep. <laughs> and I, I've used it on several animals like that. Really? Really? Yes. Yeah. Now I have a camera. <laughs> so yeah. they don't have to do it so much. <laughs> they just run down to the barn. I have gone the um uh the 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 alarm at like three o'clock in the morning. We had a, a Cremello mare and it was her tail. I thought it was a baby horse. It was a tail at three o'clock in the morning, and I was like banging on the walls at three when the kids were young. Our kids were involved in horse breeding. I mean, like seriously holding the line and everything. I don't know, from the time they were 10 years old. And so they were all they knew their drill. And they all get out to the bar and they're looking at me like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> she lost her mind. <laughs> Anyhow, any other questions? Questions? Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> Who has a drink? Is anybody drinking? We got together okay, to drink. I've got a question. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to throw myself under the bus, okay? Huzzah. So... Brandy, Ricky, like, and Lisa, you all know that how I was raised super, super strict religious. Mm -hmm. So um, something I still struggle with to this day is tarot cards. And for me, like as far as the pendulum goes, what's the difference between that and Ouija? Oh, huge oh. difference. I, I mean, with, with the pendulum, you're working with your higher self. You're working with your higher knowledge. Um, Ouija board. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I don't, I don't touch them. <laughs> I messed with one when I was 10 years old and it kept going, kill Lisa, kill Lisa, knife, 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 knife. Lisa don't touch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't sleep for weeks. <laughs> so I, I, but pendulums, uh, are working with your higher self and, and higher knowledge, but anybody else want to weigh in on that? I, 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 I terrified yeah. of Ouija boards. <laughs> Um, I think everything works off intent, right? So um, obviously the pendulum is your higher self. Tarot cards I, are your higher self or intuition. And a Ouija board is specifically set up to communicate with the other side. Um, and I think that we can, with the Ouija board, we can uh, leave ourselves open if we don't set intent. And we can also leave ourselves open uh, uh, if we're not grounded, like that's been my, my experience with Ouija boards. Um, but just go in with pure, clear intent with whatever you do. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't particularly feel like Ouija boards are bad. You know, I've not had, uh, like a profound experience with them. I, we've taken them out with other mediums and, you know, played and things like that. But, uh, I would rather sit with spirit than pull out a Ouija board. That's just me. You know, I feel like I get more from it, but. Same. I, I guess feel like it's more authentic whenever you sit with spirit instead of use something to guide you. I don't know. That's just my opinion. <laughs> so here's a question. How do you feel about table tipping, Brandy? I love table tipping. No, listen, listen. I Can think... you explain what that is? We so, will. Hold on one second. Okay. Table tipping is when traditionally, right, and the way that I've seen it done in England is like it's a heavy ass 
oak table and everybody puts their hands on it, right? And then you talk to spirit and it's amazing. And if spirit wants to, they move the table. And I'm so unbelievably, like unbelievably logically minded that um, it, to me, if I'm going to do it, it has to be the heaviest table in the room. <laughs> like I'm like, right. let's just see, right? <laughs> uh, but it's, it's just a, a form of physical mediumship is what it is. And right. I love physical mediumship. I love trance. Um, and it's so freaking cool. I, I, I fucking love it. So the first time I saw table tipping, what in table, what table tipping, we actually have a table tipping table here. It's a three-legged table. Um, mm -hmm. It's how we had seen it done. So you've, you've, you've experienced it with a heavy table and we use actually Meredith over here uh, was at our table tipping session that we had in Ohio. And we used a four-legged, very stable little table it no it wasn't the kitchen table it was um just a stable little uh wooden table that that was an old <laughs> table and and that little thing if you guys watch the youtube video you can see it's green so you also see is like where the paint peels off and there's these white spots and you can see or hear the table move and we were all sitting there it's the first time we'd used this table it was a, it was kind of like an experiment and it was so cool. <laughs> and we had a whole bunch of us around the table and we're like, oh my gosh. I love that. Yeah. Have you, have yeah. you seen, it's, um, but, the skull files, Lisa? Yeah. Oh gosh. Go look up when we're done. <laughs> Go look up the skull files, not S K U L L, but S C O L E. And uh, it's freaking amazing. Okay. It's, it's, basically a documentary about these mediums in England that sat in a basement consecutively for like five years and what came out of that. Yeah. And, and I think, um, our, the gentleman that, um, who was it? It was Dr. Shoot. Ah, I can't remember his name now, but he did it on the cruise ship and, um, I had my hands on the table and that thing, was it you or me that had my, no, I had my hands on the table. Wasn't it me? Yeah, Dr. Gates, Dr. Lewis Gates. Um, that thing moved 10 foot, 10 foot across the floor and the, and the ship wasn't rocking. And I mean to tell you, I about peed my pants. And <laughs> we had to run after the table. Amazing. And that's why I got to the small table because first of all, we travel so much, I figured it'd be easy to carry with me. But um, we, we, I have seen it done with the big table and it's really, really cool. Uh, but what happens, you guys, is it moves. It like really moves. <laughs> And the three-legged table will tip over almost to the floor. Like it'll tip over sideways and hang there and just hang there. And then it sits back up. It's cool. And um, maybe, maybe when I get back to Ohio, we'll do a video on it uh, again, because I didn't have this table when we did that, but it's right in there. Some, you know, you guys would see this in a typical seance kind of, of setting is what I would uh, I would say, but I'm going to look up that skull files because I think he was That's talking about those. You. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I used to teach uh, a course called the History of Mediumship, and I haven't taught it in so long. Uh, and uh, that was part of what I taught was because it's so you, you're either a believer in it or you're not, and right. so awesome. Like, yeah. I think once you see that freaking table move, though, you're kind of like, okay. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm huge. I'm, I'm huge about, um, I want to debunk stuff like you. I'm like, you know, come on, really? I, I need to see the facts on it. Yeah. And then it moved 10 foot across the floor and I was the one that would have had to have been pushing it. And I was like, uh, I, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. So I get it's so good. Yeah. 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 Maybe we'll have a, 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 a Tulsa. Oh my God. That'd be so much fun. Yeah. When Before Jennifer leaves, together, then. let's do it. Yeah, we'll go swimming first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be fun. Um, it, it, you know, I really love uh, the one we did was interesting because we had um, very intuitive people around the table mm -hmm. that just started talking. It was, it turned into a huge conversation with spirit and everybody at the table was talking. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of people that are super intuitive, and then there's some people that were doubters you know and then it just turned into this really cool thing 
Yeah. Oh, I love. It. Yeah, I love. I think we need to do it because I'm going to be between here and Ohio um, for this year. So, yeah. Any questions on that? Because it's really cool, and you guys can go check the videos out. Sorry. This is don't leave us. <laughs> We really like it here and we're not going to sell our house, but um, right now we're just not sure. So. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm hoping I'll be back here working in the fall because that's going to be cold. Yeah. But yeah. I'll go visit Hawaii. I've got all my hands uh, in <laughs> I'll go over and I'll visit him in Hawaii. I'll do it. If I have to do it, I'll do it. I'll sacrifice. <laughs> I'll send you guys pictures of sea turtle and whale. <laughs> no, there won't be any whales, but anyhow. Questions. Questions. Who thinks that they are intuitive but don't, don't know how to go forward yet? Me. So uh, Tammy's well on her way. I know she's well on her way. She's, she sits there and goes, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But she's like, so yes, you are. Quit shaking your head. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Get it? Movie reference? No. Missing it? Got it? Yeah. Austin Powers? No. Okay. <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> Cindy got it. Cindy got it. <laughs> okay. What else are we doing but watching stupid movies? Stupid movies. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Who's watched The Tiger King? Really? How can you not watch it? it? We watched the first one and I went, I... Uh, no, no, can't you have to see it through. You have to watch the whole fucking yes. thing. It gets so much better. <laughs> you guys, Joe, like Exo Joe, Exotic is right. Joe okay. Exotic was right by me. Oh, so. really? Yes, very cool. Within 10 miles of where I am at. at. Okay, where are, so you, where are you? so hot. South Central Oklahoma. What? What did you say? He's so hot. You didn't say he's hot. <laughs> I'm horrified right now. It's that mullet. It's mullet. The mullet's coming back, man. Um, no. <laughs> okay. All right. So I've only watched one. We've only watched one episode. Who thinks she fed her previous husband to a lion? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Husband. One hundred percent. Absolutely. It's why I'm not rest watching the rest of them. There's the first one, I, I didn't know anything about that. I'm like, oh, I don't like her. What? Absolutely. What, Jennifer? I can't hear Sam. It's so muffled. I have an effect on him. It's the pillow I'm holding over his face. <laughs> Hold it tighter. Oh. oh, wait, oh, you can hear him. You're not holding. Oh, 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 oh. There's a pillow story. There's a pillow story. There is an authentic pillow story. Yeah, it does. And it's appropriate. Oh, yeah. The whole thing is done. Okay, so quickly. We live in St. Croix. Okay, we were living in St. Croix. And our back window was all, um, because you want to see the view, it was all windows, okay? A huge window wall of windows. And the moon we, was coming in. We were staying up on top of the moon. Yeah, and, and he'd really pissed me off, okay? He'd really, 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 really pissed me off. And he was talking about quitting his job and just bailing off violence. And I had, I didn't, you know, women, come on. We do not lay there and just go to sleep. We don't do it. We are going to plot. And we are going to be pissed off. And we're gonna lay there half awake all night long. And in the morning, it's gonna be even worse. So I was laying there in bed. <laughs> I don't know what caused me to grab the pillow, but I had the pillow in my hand and I was like, <sighs> and, so, and he woke up. Then I hear, I could just smoke and just celebrate right now. All right. Okay. So the rest of the evening, I didn't sleep. The fact that you're still together after that, I'm so impressed. <laughs> this was before my spiritual journey. Now I wouldn't harm a fly. <laughs> 
no. <laughs> oh, Meredith, have you ever heard him tell the story? Uh, he's so much more dramatic. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. You have no lines in this play. <laughs> no. Uh, does anybody have any other questions? Not about me trying to kill Sam. No. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> yeah, he is fine. He is. Um... <laughs> okay. So Heather is so funny. Where is she? There, she's still here. Heather's very funny. Um, what class were we in, Heather? Was it was it Brandy's class? It was Brandy's class over at Bliss. Yeah, was it a, a, just a regular class or what? I don't remember. We were sitting there talking, and she starts talking about boob sweat. Oh, we were talking about how hot it gets in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. She's like, yeah, but you get boob sweat, and I was like, Yeah. Boob sweat, butt, butt crack sweat. Butt crack sweat. Yeah, that's as well. I mean, you take a shower and go outside and you're already soaked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'll be okay with it. It is a little bit hotter down here. It's not quite. That's where it was Yeah, I think so too. So, anyhow, now that you've heard that I've tried to assassinate my husband, um, I'm successfully taking up. I am not that way anymore. I'm very peaceful. And... Ah, ah. Look at Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can tell the people we actually have a house by. Did you spit that out? Uh, Meredith and Allie are actually Ohioans and they, they live, uh, uh, I've been friends with them for a long time. <laughs> so they're sitting there going, yeah, whatever. We cut out <laughs> Oh, it's okay. But you know what? Here's the thing. I, 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 and this is, this is why the people that I asked to be on here. Okay. Uh, Brandy and Tammy and Allie and Meredith are real. Uh, they're, they're down to earth and just, that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. And it's, there's no, no facade, you no know, no. Brandy keeps dropping fucks over here. <laughs> I just like dive right into the ground. <laughs> Are you wearing a leopard jacket? It's my puddle bun. Yeah. Do you have one of those onesies? Oh <laughs> my. <laughs> and you yelled at me for putting on Bob's tennis shoes. I didn't buy it. You have some nerve. But I didn't buy it. But it, wait, wait, you want to know the best part? It has a pocket. <laughs> oh, wait, I was trying on clothes the other day because, you know, I'm fitting back into some other cl old clothes and I was trying to, and I discovered one of my dresses has pockets. Pockets make everything better. Has anybody ever went shopping with Lisa Fry? Why are we going to tell stories like that? I have, Why I are have. we going to tell stories like that? It's not even. <laughs> Meredith looks Shannon like somebody said it was a bus. <laughs> I volunteer Shannon from now on to be the shopping partner. Poor Shannon. Oh, poor Shannon. Shannon <laughs> this isn't fair. Shannon made a mistake with her hair and like her shop. Like seven hours later, she was it. done. <laughs> I did go stone shopping with. Lisa Fry one time and she I'm gonna say I think she threatened my life that if I texted <laughs> Sam and said Lisa found this awesome stone oh. because she's like don't you dare because he will fight and I was like yeah. isn't that what we want yeah and she's but, like don't you do it I'm okay like, do you remember going dress shopping for that one dress and no, 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 no. We're not changing the subject here. No, we were, it was me, Allie, and Shannon, and we went dress shopping. So I think this is before Mary got folded into the pack. And we were going to this dinner nightclub thing, and I found this dress that I absolutely loved. It was like 300 bucks. So the girls call Sam, and Sam rushes an hour away to buy this stupid dress. I'm like, oh my God. This is why we don't tell Sam if Lisa likes stones. That's because I love the 
So let me tell you about, I'm going to tell you one story that comes up with this myth. Oh, no. I can't hear you. You sound like you're underwater, Sam. Listen, if he's going to tell us a story, he's got to get closer to the mic. Yeah. So we can <laughs> 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 How's that? Can y'all hear me now? Hey. Yes. All right. So I'm going to tell you a story that is one story that actually is, we'll just multiply it times 50. Because it is a repeat offender of, offense of hers. We would go shopping. Now, when I say we, I just happen to be along <laughs> for the ride. But she would pick out all these really cool things and, you know, dresses and shirts and blouses and sneakers. And, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So here we are. We're walking through the store, any store, multiple stores. And I'm watching her just put things back randomly into the, into the, into the, into the racks. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Well, I really don't need that. Da, da, da. Eh, you know, it, so it got to the point where we would go together and then I would let her go her way. But I would follow her through the store and pick up all this shit. That she was putting back on the racks to buy her because she won't buy herself anything. I agree with Lisa. If you don't need it five seconds later, what do you need it for? You You're not helping. You're not helping. You're going on mute. How do I mute you? <laughs> <laughs> She's, she got mad at me about three or four months ago because she wears this one pair of pants and it, they're holy and they're. they're I call them her hobo pants, and she gets so damn mad at Damn, don't do it. We all have our favorite pair of pants. Yeah, but she wants to wear them out in public. That's horse shit. Listen. I work my ass off. I make sure she has things, and then she won't buy herself nothing. If she wants to wear her holy pants to church, let her do that shit. (laughs) You're not helping either, Brandy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm here for the, the truth. Hobo jeans. <laughs> hobo jeans. Yeah. You wear a hat out today, honey? Look at that. Look back over there. Dollar store Does guy. Best thing ever. Does that help? The lines. What? What? There you go. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm not that difficult to shop with. It just takes a little bit, that's all. Them two right there know the difference. Whatever. Whatever. Anyhow, <laughs> okay. Well, Anybody have you any questions other than about Lisa's shopping team. habit? What? Oh, I have. Um, it's not a question, but let me tell you. If Lisa says, I think there should be a doorway right there in her house. By the evening, there's also a doorway. What happened? She says if Lisa says, I think a doorway should be in that wall, by the evening, there's a doorway. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? He's leaving, and I there's no drywall mudded. <laughs> None. And there better not be one. I may break quarantine and drive straight to Tulsa. It's, I'm just putting that out there. Meredith, bring I'm it. I'm with Meredith. All right. Bring it. Bring it because this shit is going down. Well, I can't work on my house because I got somebody living in it. Well, you have a homeless person living in your house. I'm home. Okay, tell them the rest of the story because it's the rest of the story is priceless. Allie, do you want to borrow Curtis? Do you need to borrow Curtis? Meredith. No. You have to hear the rest of the story. No, Meredith. Okay, okay. I'm gonna tell because she's sitting there speechless. They think that this is the guy that they bought the house off of that went to jail for making drugs and they keep finding drywall, not drywall, but insulation on the floor. So he's sleeping there and they think that he stored money or drugs in the walls and he's searching for it. Floorboards. Floorboards. I told you to write a note. Thing. Um, so there is it's a trap door. Okay, first of all, I need everybody on here to know that if there is an obscene, never gonna happen story, it happens to me. Um, there's a trap door in my garage floor 
which goes to a secret room downstairs, obviously downstairs, that nobody knew about until there was a drug bust in my house. And they went through the closet wall, knocked the wall out, and found this super amazing room. There is also, <laughs> rumor had it when we bought the house, there was a secret room. And I was like, yeah, right. And then there's a secret safe poured in the floor. All of that is true. Now, me being intuitive, I know my house is not haunted. Okay. I know there is no entities living in my house. I have saged it from top to bottom. And for whatever reason, every freaking door is unlocked when I get there in the morning. And the lights are all on in my secret room. And to turn the secret lights on, you have to have an outlet. And this secret person knows where the outlet is in my secret room. Did you go get trail cams today? Get some cameras. <sighs> trail cams? Uh, no. Well, honestly, I didn't. But I did, however... Um, take a step out that I forgot to tell anybody is missing. So we're going to find out exactly who's at the bottom of my stairs in the morning. Well, did you, I told her to write a note that says, uh, just set it on the floor and it says, Hey, no, you're here. Got a gun. How you feeling? <laughs> I mean, he has all the luxuries. He just got out of jail. Um, he was supposed to get out next year. Drama, maybe. <laughs> and I mean, he has a great shower. Let me tell you, when we bought this place, there were cow pads through the house. I'm telling you, this house hasn't been this clean ever. Yeah, so he has locks. a huge house. He's got toilet paper. He's got no soap on a rope. He's got it all. <laughs> Change your locks. <laughs> Change your locks. Tammy has been like super ultra quiet. You're just taking it in. Just take it in. <laughs> you don't even have any wine. I have another glass of wine. No? No? Okay. All right. Any other questions? Because I think this is, I think, uh, ooh, uh, I think that everybody, are we good? All in, all done? Okay. Questions? Oh, Martha Green has a question here. Let me unmute Martha. Yes. Martha, hi. Can't hear you, honey. Oh. Unmute. She's not unmuted. Mm -mm. There we go. Can you, how about now? I, oh, have really heard this. Um, I wanted to ask Brandy, have you always had a gift for mediumship or is it something you developed? Um, it's something that at the age of 14, I became aware of. If it existed before then, I, I didn't really know about it or know what I was experiencing. But um, it started in dream state with me. And then as an adult, I actively studied and, and brought it out of dream state into waking state. So can you hear my little one? <laughs> He's fine. Okay. So so um, I have a question for Brandy. Uh, could you tell everybody about, because I, I, you know, really until I moved to Tulsa, I'd never heard of the Arthur Finley College. Mm -hmm. Can you tell everybody about the Arthur Finley College? I just think that's uh, yeah. on my bucket list, by the way. Yeah, uh, the Arthur Finley College is a college for uh, mediumship and psychic studies in Stansted, Essex, England. And um it is, they've got week courses that you go, you stay in the estate, you study, and they say a week equals a year in our development. So it's, it's 12 hour days from nine to nine. And um, you just soak it up, you soak up the environment, the atmosphere. Um, and I've been, I've been five times now, and it has been a game changer in understanding that relationship with spirit in a way that I don't think, I think it would have taken me a lot longer on my journey to understand. Really? Um, and it's beautiful, Arthur Finley, um, gifted state 
to the Spiritualist National Union. So all of your teachings are done under the Spiritualist National Union. Um, and uh, it's just, it's fucking amazing. I want to take a field trip. Let's Do we go. have class trips because I'm actually I actually seriously want to go do this like next year yeah I, I, I but we're waiting for all this to blow over I just yeah. see Meredith's yeah. hand pop up too so let's go thank you I love to go <laughs> so yeah Debbie's like let's go uh Tammy you want to go to it's um uh, I really I'm, I'm serious I want to go it, it girl it there's just, no nothing has matched that presence of spirit anywhere else I've studied I it get is. the energy is amazing. Oh God, it, it is. Without saying the F bomb again, it is. I don't care. You know, you're not scaring me. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. <laughs> We're adults. I mean, you know. There have been times where, you know, of course there's the time change and everything and you go out uh, to the gardens at like one o'clock in the morning and you can literally, I shit you not, see people walk across the gardens. Like spirit people wow. walk across. And it is... I'm not a, you know me, Lisa. I'm not like a big like. There's a portal here, but I right. know, there's right. a portal there. There's a portal there. <laughs> I, I really, I really am seriously um, trying to plan it. Uh, I was yeah. actively kind of planning it before all this happened, and um, so I want to go there. And then I have a friend in Italy, and then she wants to go from Italy to Croatia, and then I want to go back up. And I have a friend up in Ireland, and we're going to just spend a couple yeah. weeks going around so listen if you need teacher recommendations let me know i will get with you about that because that is something I, because you, you get on the site you guys it is amazing and yeah. if i'm correct didn't they fashion hogwarts off of arthur and the they College? did yeah they did that's how I awesome would fuck hogwarts. <laughs> that's what i was about to ask i was yeah. gonna ask yeah. if harry potterish yeah mm -hmm. it, it's very cool but it is the 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 curriculum is mind bending because you you open it up and you're like, <laughs> yeah, hundreds of teachers, hundreds wow. of yeah. teachers to choose from. Yeah, and they've actually cut a lot. There was um kind of a lot of drama that went on there about three years ago, and they cut a lot of teachers and really. Oh yeah, I'll lean heavily on you for who to go to, what class to take. Yeah, wow. awesome. Message me, I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I I miss class. I definitely miss class and. Um, trying to just maintain the status quo, just like everybody else. And yeah. I, I have to say the thing that makes me feel better, I know when I need to get online and, and just chat is, and then that makes me feel better and it yeah. relieves my tension or whatever I have going on. So when I get on, I'm like, what? it's what's going on. I get it. Okay. Skylar and I got on yesterday, just pulled cards for people. We were like, right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw, I saw, and I, I, I was like, man, I missed it. I was probably <laughs> scrubbing the pool. That's good though. That grounds us. Yes. I'm happy. You mean scrubbing the pool? Yeah. No. <laughs> to see the video, it was horrifying. Scrubbing toilet copperheads and <laughs> all sorts of stuff. I that copperhead though. I know Lisa and I freaking love snakes. Even like, I don't know. I just love them. I, you know, the problem was Sam was in the water with it for three hours before we found it. Yeah, that's scary. That's scary. Yeah, that, it, it was terrifying. I, mean, I don't and like poisonous snakes. I'm not going to be like, come here and cuddle with me. But yeah. I'm, you know. I didn't, I couldn't bring myself to kill it though. I couldn't bring myself to kill it. Good girl. Um, yeah, I, I just couldn't. So it went in the trash can. And um, then I put, because we pulled 30 plus frogs out of the, out of the pool mm -hmm. and a big, huge paint turtle. And so then I put a frog in the trash can and I was like, oh, poor little guy. And I went to reach in to grab it. And then I'm, and then the little copperhead head went under and I'm like, that frog <laughs> stand right there. He had a contract to be a, a meal for that snake. <laughs> <laughs> that coming out. But um, yeah, you know, and uh, what, what do you say? What do you say is a great way to ground? I love it when she says this in class, it cracks me up. Best way to ground? Oh, scrub a toilet, change a diaper. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, yes, we'll do those things, but um, <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> All right, anybody I else? Don't know. Like, there's so many ways to ground. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, this is. Anybody have any questions? We're all good. Everybody, everybody, get a glass of wine. I, I was, I was really, really good tonight. 
Water. I'm 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 on a thing. I'm doing a thing. Lisa, I oh, have you. Going. Okay. Who was that? I said I have you. We're good. Oh, thank you. You know, oh, um, it's been a while since I've had some grape juice, and uh, really, <laughs> really, it was a debate this evening because I have it under the counter. I'm like, no. <laughs> As, Let me eat my chicken and salad and I'll have water. <laughs> as soon as I saw that it was wine and shine, I was like, so this means we can drink, right? Like, this Absolutely. Is <laughs> so, no, I want, I, this is how I, I've, I've gone and watched um, Brandy do a gallery reading. And it was really, really cool. Really amazing. And by the way, it was the first and only one I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. And so she finishes up with her and this is how level-headed she is and this is why I just love her because if she was like I speak to spirit I I couldn't handle it and it just she would, I'd been like next I, I can't even do that <laughs> um but tell them what your after after mediumship drink is when you go, are done doing a gallery because I thought that was awesome a shot of Jameson <laughs> <laughs> she goes out and drinks whiskey <laughs> And I thought, huh, and is it, you said it was kind of like a tradition over at Arthur Finley or something like that. that oh my gosh. After we release from the evening session, which is like from 730 to nine, everybody goes to the bar that's in the school and, and, and that's just what we do. But, uh, I don't think bar. they bar there. Yeah. I mean, they have like PIMS, you can do PIMS and lemonade. <laughs> but like, oh no. Oh no. It is on. And when I go over there, it is on, I'm going to fit comfortably in a airplane seat. I'm going to be comfortable going over and be comfortable. I'm going to have fun. Okay. Yeah. I'm, the it, bar it, saved me from tears many a night. <laughs> I would imagine that that length of time daily yeah. is hard. It's rigorous, but it is so worth it. And, and if I could say one thing about, if you're thinking about going, if you want to go, go there, unbelievably humble and ready to be torn down and rebuilt. Right. Because um, I've watched students go, right? And it's been a it's been an ego fight. And I'm like, drop the ego, just go and learn. Like go, yeah. do exactly what they want you to do. And you, you'll get something from it. But instead of, I'm sure, and I'm sure there's people that go in and sit down and like, well, you know, I don't do it that way. Mm -hmm. Dude, you paid money, you flew here. It's not cheap. Just shut up and listen. Just shut up and do it. Yeah. And it's like, no, I mean, I, you would be the last person that I think would ever be like, I'm not going to do it that way. Cause you're so cool and like humble and grounded, but I have had students go like there to be recognized. And I'm like, that's not why you go. No. I mean, mediums are a dime a dozen in the UK. You're not, you're not going to be recognized there. And most of them, are so surpass American mediums, it's not even funny, right? Right. So right. absorb what they have to teach you because they they know what the hell they're doing, you know? Right. Well, if you think about the age of just Europe versus mm -hmm. our civilization, our, our country here, mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're going to be, they've been, they, they're, it's steep. Right. In their spiritualism started here. It started in New York. And then what happened was... <laughs> England took off with it and man, they just, they, they really thoroughly researched it and did I think it's the work. Because it validated all the things that were steeped in their, in their belief systems anyways. Um, Maybe. Because, because if you think about it, uh, if we have something here, if somebody has a haunted house here, say a haunted house, mm -hmm. um, and I've lived in, in an extremely haunted house. I mean, like we had troops of Civil War people walk through our, our living room at night. Um, but that is not nearly as haunted as like, I don't know, Leap Castle, you know, I mean, yeah. where they they have a much stronger belief system and they're being the other side because things things have lingered because buildings have been there for how long, you know? Right. But I think too, if you look at the fact that um certain scientists got behind that movement, cer certain authors got behind that movement that were, were English based. Okay. Uh, I think that's why it flourished the way that it did there instead of here, because they, right. they still have the church of England, right? They still right. have that suppressed view of Protestant belief. Um, but I think because people like 
Arthur Conan Doyle who writes uh, Sherlock Holmes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and certain scientists were picking up and saying like, hey, there's something behind this. Uh, they went with it. And uh, where we didn't roll with it. I mean, you have spiritualist churches on our coast, but the more inward you get, like Oklahoma, the harder it is to work here, yeah. you know, in that capacity. So I think that's a little bit like they had more of the celebrities of the time kind of right. backing them, you know? Right. So. Huh. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it's interesting. Anyways. Um, so you guys always hear me talk about uh, taking a little bit from each teacher and waiting till the right teacher comes along and making sure that you click with your teacher. And this is a teacher that I can actually click with. So if she does any online classes, you guys, I highly recommend them. I really do. She, she has a wealth of information and experience and Tammy over here, you know, jump on Tammy's page because Tammy is phenomenal and she is our go-to astrologer because and he and she's working with um ascended masters and healers and um she just if anybody has not seen her divine viral protection you need to watch it it's amazing who's done her divine viral protection oh my gosh it is big time you can thank talk. you lisa <laughs> for that <laughs> you've been so quiet <laughs> I'm just starting to get really tired and I know the energy's shifting. The moon's changing positions right now and it's just like passing right over my uh my natal moon. So I'm like I'm just feeling it. Done. <laughs> Done. I'm up. <laughs> no, but I'm really um Tammy is incredible. If you're looking for what is gonna affect me at what time and your your full astrology chart, I mean she's just amazing. Amazing. And uh then we have Meredith over here, she does all the oracle types of things and the hoodoo stuff. And uh, I, I just love her input on the page because she's she's on Weekly Intuitive here and there. We haven't had her on because I've been lazy. Oh, so lazy. I haven't been doing Wednesday night classes and I've been busy. I need to do better. And then we have Allie that is an amazing healer in her own right. And then her animal communication skills are off the chart Oh, just crazy, just crazy. So uh, if you guys are looking for any anybody, that is definitely who I recommend. And uh, Tammy, your page is North Node Venus Astrology. And then Allie is Lexi Animal Communicator and Healer, Healer and Animal, yeah. And then Brandy Christman is Brandy Christman. And then Meredith, where do we find you? At, Mer at Meredith Tyler? Or on... Uh, um, Oh, the free readings, uh, fairy and oracle. I'll, I'll get it typed out. She, she's like, I do it for fun. I don't want to do it. <laughs> anyway, you guys, any other questions before we I'll, I'll go actually, you know, crash for the evening. No, I really appreciate everybody being here. It's been fun. I hope you guys have had fun. Any, anybody have fun? I had fun. I talk over everybody. I can't help it. That's so much fun. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? It was just a matter of let's just sit and chat and relieve some tension because this does relieve tension. Just being able to vent to other people about, oh my gosh, this is what we have going on. And uh, energies are crazy. All that crap. Uh, it, it does help to vent. Um, and you know, I, know I guess I do have a question for Tammy. Yes. Sorry. Um, Tammy, have you noticed that this last full moon was just a, a lot of anxiety or is it just everything in general? Oh, the, just the past one that we had while well, it was yeah. in Libra. So it was relationships. So, and that's what we're working on. We're 24 seven with our families right now. And it's like, oh man. And the full moon brings up that stuff that we haven't seen before. So we saw a whole lot of heck, you know, like we've been trying to avoid for a long time and we didn't have to deal with it. We had to deal with it now because we're living with, you know, our kids and, and yeah, our family all day long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I feel bad for people that don't get along that are having to be in the same home, you know, and learning new things about <laughs> looking at Brandy. 
No, right. seriously. Seriously, think of all the people that don't get along in their relationships and they are just barely get, making it along and then they are stuck together like this. Mm-hmm. That this is right. going to be, you know, that changing point for a lot of people. So there's a lot of change going on. So, and Lisa, I think we talked about this before. You said you thought a lot of people are going to get divorced after all this, right? Like a lot of people are going to get divorced. A lot of people are going to have babies too, right? So, relationship. <laughs> <That's there. laughs> Not you necessarily, no, but no. you know. No. But yeah, you're right. People mm-hmm. are going to have babies because the condom aisle is untouched. Okay. <laughs> I have a friend that writes divorces. She's an animal communicator, but she like writes divorces as her day job. And she's like, I've never been busier. Oh, really? <laughs> like, I believe it right now. Like, oh. totally- I'm not going to lie. I'm very glad that my husband's in Arizona right now. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> I when I saw you took him his car out, I was like, I "Did oh my gosh!" It was but, nice but, for a weekend, and then I got to come home, and he stayed there, and it was awesome. He isn't it beautiful? Home. Did you pick any sage while? You, did you clip any sage while you were out there? No, you didn't tell me where to go. All on the road. <laughs> I was driving too fast to see it. No, um, we, you know, if we went to Montana, we were like super excited because there's places you can go and just to the national parks and just clip sage all day long. And um, we don't have it in Hawaii. So I don't know, whatever, whatever. I'm not. But do you know what you do have in Hawaii? (laughs) Everything else. (laughs) Surfers. Surfers. Uh, surfers and sea glass oh I have um there, there, it's I had so much fun when we were there and we were constantly looking for these things called sunrise shells and they're they're expensive and with jewelry making I use them in jewelry very very selectively just because it took me a lot to get them and I actually had to purchase them in Hawaii and it was like a drug deal I was at the grocery store I'm like hey hey you got my shells he's like you got my money I'm like, I do. <laughs> they're the most beautiful shells. They're orange and yellows and oh, they're gold. They're beautiful. Um, but you're right. Hawaii does have a lot of stuff, including our tattoo artist. So we can get our tattoos touched up. I'm, I'm thinking sea turtle watercolor or something too. I don't know. He's really good. And he's not ugly either. He's very mean looking. Like, Anyhow. I you whispered that like he can't hear <laughs> <laughs> he's in the other room <laughs> he's in the other room no um but yeah so uh there will be some fun stuff going on this year but just not from here well from here and ohio and hawaii whatever it is life it, and it's ever changing and i'm sure it is for everybody else as well at this moment and um we're just feeling very lucky that he got a position someplace so um not exactly our ideal, but whatever. So I hope to see, I think that we should do this more often because <laughs> it's been fun. I, I think you should plan another one. I, I, we had a lot of people on and um, uh, I need to talk less, <laughs> oh. but uh, you know, it's just a way to keep, keep everything moving. And um, really super, I am, t- I'm serious about the Arthur Finley thing. I, I think that I'm going to go do that. And um, I actually have somebody in Ireland that when I do go do it, she's going to come over and attend with me. So, uh, and then Meredith Is wants to go. Sandy? And... Sorry? Is her name Sandy? No. No. Okay. Uh, I Ellie just have a follower that I went to the school with and I was like, I wonder if that's her. So I had to ask. Is it Sandy Schwenk? No. I have to look at what her name actually is, but that doesn't seem right. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me who it is though, because I don't want to know. It'll make me nervous. Yeah. No. no, I mean, she's just in Ireland. <laughs> to go. She's in Ireland and she goes to the college, but I'm sure there's a lot of people in Ireland that go to the college. I did, I did an interview with Emma uh, and, and uh, uh, watched the interview with Emma and um, she does this thing, this program called Rolling with Emma and she does, she interviews people that have passed away. It's really, really interesting. It's cool. And <laughs> She was interviewing me and we're sitting there talking, you know, we're just chatting back and forth. And I'm like, she goes, well, did you see blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, honestly, I've not watched any of your stuff. (laughs) I'm not going to lie to her. I'm like, I haven't watched it. Really? (laughs) Like, no, 
I was afraid I was going to get nervous about it. You know, I didn't want to feel that way that I was, um, uh, I still go through that. And I think a lot of intuitives, you know, we, we, we get to points where we go, okay, I don't want anybody watching me. <laughs> and it, it, it was, a uh, um, so I, in the interview, I went, yeah, I have not watched yourself, <laughs> throw myself right under the bus and just went, whatever. <laughs> I have watched subsequently, I have watched um, one or two of her videos. And what did I watch? Um, I started watching <clears throat> Jesus and the other one. I can't remember, but um, anyway, she's very, very interesting. You guys, if you can catch her rolling with Emma on YouTube, she's really cool. Nice lady. And she's over in, where is she? She's in, not Croatia. Belgium. She's in Belgium. Yeah, she's in Belgium. She's moving to France. She wants to move to France. So yeah, anyhow. Okay. All right, guys. I think we should do this again. And it, it was a lot of fun. And I, you guys are all very quiet. <laughs> So next time, more liquor, okay? <laughs> Debbie has it down. We don't have to worry about Debbie. <laughs> she drank a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> I like Debbie. <laughs> no, look, she even has wine behind her. That's awesome. She positioned her spot. <laughs> is that a... Is that a Debbie, oh, really? exactly. wine. Yeah, I've got a lot of wine. <laughs> you are my spirit animal. Look at Meredith over here. Meredith is like, roll on. That's roll right. on. That's right. Debbie, I'm coming over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. All right, everybody. I, I hope this was fun. And um, hopefully we'll do this again. And this is actually on YouTube. So you guys can share this away. And it is also recorded. I can send you guys. Uh, uh, Meredith and Allie. Allie disappeared. Um, where did Allie go? I, she probably Emery. I wondered where she went for a while because Emery came in and he's like blah 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 blah, and she just took off. <laughs> Which she's on a farm, so it could have been anything. Um, anyhow, the baby's hatching. hatching. The baby's hatching. <laughs> the baby's hatching. And, you know, it's funny. I had a, a friend this morning that she sent me a video and she's like, look what happened this morning. And it's a dirty job, you know, having a farm's a dirty job. And she actually had to get in there and help uh, mare out, full out a mare. Mm -hmm. And wow. if anybody's ever done this, it's a little bit of horrifying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> horrifying. Mm -hmm. But uh, she was like, look what I did this morning. I'm like that. Yeah, I don't miss it. Thank you. <laughs> but I kind of do. Anyhow. All right, everybody. Everybody have a great evening. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me, Lisa. It was Thank you. Having study. Fun. And Brandy, we just need to chat because um, I get yeah. to ta chat to everybody else. I, I chat to Tammy pretty often and I talk to Meredith all the time. And, uh, but yeah, just if you're feeling all pent up, you know, just, just yeah. stop me. I've been like definitely harboring my energy lately and like introverting a lot and I'm ready to like, I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready to come yeah. out world. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it, I, I think, but I, do you feel better? I mean, do you feel better? You, you, I, that's, you know, just let it out a little bit and have some fun and have a giggle yes, and, and, uh, yes, you know, so, all right, guys, everybody have a wonderful evening. I'm going to go find out what my husband's into because it sounds like he's doing something he's not supposed to. And, uh, <laughs> I will not smother him. I swear. <laughs> Thank you guys. It's been a lot of fun. All right. Bye. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. It's been fun. Oh, glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.